Yo, what's up guys? You're back with Technic and today we'll be doing part five of the six part series. Today is all about performance, showing you guys an Antutu benchmark run between these three beasts. The first phone we have here is the Realme X2 Pro with a Snapdragon 855 Plus processing chip of last year and a 90 hertz panel, eight gigs of RAM as well. And we also have high performance mode, which we're gonna go ahead and enable for this Antutu benchmark run. Next up, we have the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro. This is the featured phone of today because of its wonderful Snapdragon 865 processing chip as well as that awesome 90 hertz panel and 8 gigs of RAM. Once again, we're going to be using Game Launcher over there to run Antutu. Last but not least, we have the OnePlus 7T, also with a Snapdragon 855 Plus processing chip, 90 hertz, and the same 8 gigs of RAM as seen on all of them. We're going to be using Game Space over here, and we're going to be enabling Fnatic mode. For those of you who don't know that, it really puts on the turbo. Guys, this is Technic. I cannot wait to see the results of this test, and without further ado, let's go. So starting up here, I'm going to be showing you guys the battery at the start. So we have the percentages there. We'll be referring it to the end of the test to what we get at the end there. Uh, where it comes to temperatures, that's at the bottom of the screen there. Then CPU temperatures also at the bottom over there. The hottest so far is the X2 Pro without doing anything. I literally just turn these phones on. Uh, so it will be really interesting to see how the results stack up at the end. At the bottom, we have the time, the well, the real time or the sped up time. This is currently at 100%. So this is real time. So what you're seeing is what you would be seeing without the clip sped up at all. So I fluctuate this because I don't want to keep you guys here all day. Under five minutes is enough if you ask me. So back to 100% real time over here, doing the first bench run of Antutu benchmark. 8.2.4 is which, what they are all currently running on. You can see that they are all really smooth. There are no jaggedy edges on any of them. All the AMOLED screens look absolutely superb. Of course, we have the biggest and the brightest screen being the Mi 10 Pro over here. So they all have 90 hertz refresh rate panels. So when it comes to the refresh rate of the panels, they are all exactly the same. So you won't notice much of a difference here. Back to 100% real time over here. In the second part of the Antutu bench run test, we will be looking at this little boot there. It all looked pretty smooth to me. And now my favorite new addition to the version 8 edition of Antutu is the Terracotta Soldiers. You can see that it uses quite a bit more of the GPU here and the 865 clearly shows that it is slightly smoother and quicker in this part than the other two devices beside it. So far it is doing a fantastic job with color accuracy when showing the actual colors from the test as well. I'm really impressed with the screen and the performance. It's doing a superb job here with speed and with the frames that it is shooting at the current moment. You can see it has a slightly higher frame counts than the other two devices, just based on how quick it is going here, as well as the lack of stutter when comparing it to the other two devices, though it is very minimal, I must add. We're gonna be shooting, well, fast forwarding now again to 2400% once again to rush through until we get to see those wonderful panels shoot up and down with those 90 hertz refresh rate panels, which actually shoots at 90 frames per second. So 30 more than the regular 60 hertz or 60 frames per second you see on normal phones. 100% real time here once again. Honestly, they all look just as great when scrolling up and down. You won't have any issues in Instagram or Facebook or whatever you browse, any of your social media, even just scrolling through images and messages. They're all gonna do a very fine job when it comes to touch sensing as well. They have very good touch sensing panels on all three devices here. Closing up the test here, we're gonna be shooting straight to the battery here. So we had the heaviest hit in battery drain, minus 5% on the Realme, but it does have the smallest battery. And then we have the coolest at the end being the Mi 10 Pro when it comes to the battery temperature and the hottest with the OnePlus 70 adding 10.8 degrees Celsius. When it comes to CPU at the end, we have only added eight degrees Celsius on the two devices on the left, but the OnePlus 70 added 10 degrees Celsius overall and making it the hottest phone of this test. In first place, we have the Mi 10 Pro with 564,000 points as opposed to the other two. Well, the Realme under 500,000 and the OnePlus just over 500,000. I was really pleased with that. Remember the OnePlus 70 is actually running Android 10 as well as the Mi 10 Pro and the X2 Pro is currently still stuck on Android 9. The X2 Pro had the worst memory and the worst GPU and CPU, but it had the second best user experience, making the OnePlus 70 the worst user experience. Overall, the Mi 10 Pro had the best of everything, OnePlus 70 almost the best of everything, and when you compare the actual chips, we have 11% worse on the 70 compared to the Mi 10 Pro and 13% worse on the X2 Pro compared to the Mi 10 Pro. Honestly, there's not a massive difference between the 865 and 855 Plus, and I'll see you guys in part six.